Hello there. What's going on, everybody? We're going to be unboxing X-Wings Heralds of Hope expansion today for the Resistance is getting a large Aces pack. This is the first of the new Aces packs. Also, this video is sponsored by Luxury Playstyle. Be sure to check out LuxuryPlaystyle.com. Use code CRABOCKVIP. That's going to save you 15%. Also, in addition to their amazing full metal tokens, you're also going to get a Crabock token with an order of $35 or more while supplies last. So use Crabock VIP as your code. Check out Luxury Playstyle. Amazing tokens. Uh, great, uh, great thing to do for the uh, holidays coming up, too. You know, you get yourself some uh, little stocking stuffer, uh, get your loved ones some stocking stuffers. Uh, you know, get all your shopping done early, ahead of time. Uh, maybe give somebody a, a Krabok token if you don't want a Krabok token. Maybe maybe you want one, maybe you don't. I don't know. I like them. I like them a lot. Light side on one side, dark side on the other. Lightsaber nunchucks on those tokens. Man, they're super cool. Look at these things. Uh, I got an X-Wing that was kind of put in there a little bit screwy-like, but we're going to we're gonna kind of get it out anyway. We've got a whole lot of cards to look at. We've got a lot of cardboard to look at. We've got miniatures to look at. We've got some bases. We're going to look at the minis first. So uh, we've got Poe's orange X-Wing from Episode 9. Um, and uh, these S-Foils look like they're closing nice and neatly. Here we go. This is... A real good close-up of this particular paint job. Looks good. Let's see how well it opens. Lock us foils in attack position. Very nice. Very nice. Do you think we're going to ever see T-70 X-Wings or any of the sequel trilogy ships in Star Wars Squadrons? That's really an interesting question. I think they'll eventually get there, but I don't know if it'll show up in Star Wars Squadrons specifically. I think we're more likely to see new stuff show up in a different game that's kind of built to be um, all eras. I think that's something that we're more likely to see. All right, we've got our uh, uh, our, our, our Snap Wexley X-Wing right here with the green. And uh, it was still no black, uh, black and orange uh, reprinted for 2.0. I don't know if they're going to because they've already done, you know, uh, a lot of different T-70s now and there's already so many of those black and orange ones out there in the 1.0 that are effectively the same they just don't have the s foils that move but you know maybe they'll still do it maybe they'll come out with some more all right and uh we've got our, our a wing which this one's harder to, to pop out come on a wing there we go okay and this one doesn't have any moving pieces but this is just an alternate uh paint scheme a wing or z2 a wing from episode eight and nine so, yeah, very cool. Very nice looking. We've got well, a, little, a little yellow in the engine glow there, too. Pretty nice looking. We'll put these on the bases here shortly. Uh, we're going to look. We've got a lot of cards to look at. There's going to be a lot of stuff that comes in this particular set. We've also got some cardboard here to look at. And, of course, the uh, the most, imp most valuable thing ever is the proof of purchase. Um, but, yeah, so here, let's take a look at all the cardboard that we're going to get. Uh, then we'll bust open the... Uh, Cards I did just have one of the T70 dials kind of fall off there. We've got all of our uh, ship bases. You don't want to lose those. Don't want to lose those. We got some turret arcs because hey, guess what? X Wings can have turrets now. Isn't that cool? <laughs> uh, yeah, here's our expansion pack contents. Here is some of our little new rules uh, inserts. There's more of the expansion pack contents right there. And there's our little insert on the back. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these cards. All right, we're going to start off going through all of the pilots. We've got uh, our A-Wing pilots. We've got an Initiative 1 Merle Cobbin. Uh, while well, friendly ship at range 0 to 2 performs primary attack, if you're in the Defender's Bullseye, they are going to roll one fewer defense dice for the Defender. That's always a nice one. Um, we've got Sura Linda Javos from the uh, books. After you partially execute a maneuver, you may gain a strain token to rotate 90 or 180, which is super cool. Uh, we got Roby Tyke, Ticey. Um, after you defend at range one, if the attacker modified its dice, the attacker gains a deplete token. Shoot weaker now, or shoot, shoot, shoot okay now, but shoot weaker next time, right? Um, we got Sefton Vanek. After you perform a boost, you may transfer an evade token to a friendly ship. At range one. We've 
got a blue squadron recruit, green squadron expert. And now we're going to move on to X-Wings. We've got uh, Psy Threnali, 50 fully executed maneuver. If you move through a friendly ship, you may perform an evade action. Love that one. We've got Nimitrine. While you perform an attack, if the defender's initiative is higher than yours, you may change one blank to an eyeball. Always a good one to have. We got Initiative 6, Poe Dameron. <clears throat> After a friendly ship at range 0 to 2, performs an action during its activation, you can spend two charge, and you're going to have two charge recurring. You're only going to get one back each turn. Cannot do this every single turn. And if you do, that ship may perform a white action, treating it as red. <clears throat> we got Snap, Temin Wexley. At the start of the engagement phase, each friendly T-70 at 0 to 3 may... Gain a strain token to flip its uh, its config to, open, to, to do its S foils. If it does, the ship gains a calculate token. <clears throat> we got black squadron, black squadron. We got two blue squadron rookies, and three red squadron experts. Uh, and now we have some upgrades. Uh, we've got two of the uh, automated target priority. This is our tech uh, initiative three or lower. While you perform an attack, you must choose a defender at the closest valid attack range. After you perform an attack that missed, place a Calculate token on this card, but before you engage, you may remove a Calculate token from this card to gain a matching token, which is pretty cool. We have uh, Backwards Tail Slide. We're actually going to get three of these. Um, backwards Tail Slide is uh, excellent with a config equipped, uh, and it's a talent. Uh, while you boost or barrel roll, if you're equipped... Uh, upgrade is closed, uh, so if your S-foils are closed, you can move through and overlap obstacles. After you boost or barrel roll through an obstacle, if you are not at range zero of it, gain an evade token. So the whole idea is you can boost or barrel roll through uh, all of that fancy stuff and uh, and still, um, you know, still come out, you know, sleeker than ever dodging attacks, using the asteroids for cover, kind of. Uh, we're going to get a copy of Black 1 here, if you didn't already have one. Uh, we're also going to get some concussion missiles. We're going to get Daredevil. We're going to get two copies of Deadeye Shot. While you perform a primary attack with the defenders in your bullseye, you may spend a hit uh, or change a crit to a hit. If you do, they are going to expose one of their damage cards, which is nice. This is also available to uh, some, uh, some of the other factions that just had ships come out. So this is another way for the resistance to get it. And we're going to get the uh, S-Foils open and close, two copies of S-Foils. So not a whole lot of new stuff here. Ion Cannon's not new. Ion Missiles. Uh, we're only going to get one copy of Overdrive Thruster. And I think this is probably, you know, considering the, it's a T-70 X-Wing, um, you know, like they they only give you one copy of it. And I think that's probably because they figure you'll probably want to run that with Black 1. That's kind of my guess. We're going to get Primed Thruster. I'm going to get Astromech of R2-D2 um, during the end phase. If you, uh, yeah, you may spend a charge and a shield to remove a red token. During the end phase, if you have no active shields, you may spend two charge to recover a shield and gain a deplete token. So you can do a couple of different things. We've got R4. Uh, we've got R6-D8. While you perform an attack, you may re-roll re a number of attack dice up to the number of friendly ships at range 0 to 3 that have the defender in their bullseye. Again, a lot of bullseye stuff. We're going to get two copies of Snapshot. Uh, we're going to get two copies of Starbird Slash here. One, two. Um, and this is A-Wing only, which means that Rebels may also want to have this, and I'm sure they will probably get this. Um, after you fully execute a maneuver, you may choose one enemy ship you moved through. That ship gains a strain token. Then, if you're in that ship's firing arc, you gain a strain token. So you want to fly through guys and not be in their firing arc. Which is, uh, that's actually pretty fun. I like that one. And then, uh, the big cannon, uh, option for the X-Wings here is the Underslung Blaster Cannon. We're gonna have two copies of this. It's a turret, uh, and it's a turret attack. Uh, and it's uh, only range one. You're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to have the option to rotate your turret also because, hey, if you have a turret, you got to rotate it, right? After an enemy ship executes a maneuver, you may perform this attack as a bonus attack. Uh, if your dice can be modified by spending a, uh, your dice can be modified only by spending a lock for the default effect. So you're not going to be able to focus or do any kind of pilot shenanigans. You know, it's, it's honestly, 
it's pretty cool. Maybe, you know, maybe you put it sideways, maybe you put it uh, backwards. I, I kind of like the idea of backwards in case somebody's trying to get like right behind you and then they're trying to sneak up on you at range one. You just like, boom, 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 take that, you know. Um, so that one's pretty cool. We also have some quick build cards. Let's take a look at these. We got uh, T70 uh, Poe with backwards tail slide, Daredevil R2, Overdrive Thruster back one, and Integrated S foil. Uh, and we've got a Black Squadron Ace with Deadeye, Proton, uh, Prime Thrusters, R3, Afterburner, and the S foils. I mean, they're probably all going to have S foils, right? Uh, then we've got Snap Wexley over here with Snapshot. Uh, Snap has Snapshot, of course he does. And the Underslung Blaster Cannon, uh, which is actually, that, you know what, that's kind of cool because you get, a, you get a, an attack at range two and a, a potentially an attack at range one. So, so I kind of like that. Um, so there you go. Uh, R6D8, hull upgrade and integrated S-foils. Uh, and then automated target priority for the Blue Squadron Rookie with R2 Astromech and integrated S-foils. We've got uh, we've got a bunch of these, man. We've got uh, the A-Wing. Uh, well, actually, let's do both A-Wing cards. Hold on. There we go. Uh, we've got Sefton Vanek with Daredevil Snapshot Hull Upgrade. Roby Tice with Elusive Starboard Slasher and Concussion Missiles. Blue Squadron Recruit Snapshot Targeting Priority Concussions. Soralinda Snapshot Starboard Slash. I'm seeing too many S's. Ion Missiles and Shield Upgrade. We've got Merle Cobbin with Deadeye and Predator. And... Uh, Automated targeting priority and shield upgrade, and then green squadron with snap shot primed thrusters and afterburners. And our last T70 is our fifth card, uh, is Psy Threnali with backward tail slide, primed thrusters, protons, R4, and integrated S foils. They'll have they'll have that. Uh, Nimi Shreen has the automated target priority and ion cannon, and uh, red squadron expert has predator and the underslug blaster. And that's, uh, I think that's all of, all of the cards. All right, you guys, that is the Heralds of Hope. I'm going to try and do my own spread, kind of like how they like to do in the, in the videos <laughs> or in the, in those little previews, right? Where they kind of conceal everything. Um, yeah, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, there's still all kinds of stuff running. Uh, there's, there's giveaways running all the time. Be sure to check the, uh, description uh, below the video description. If you click see more, you're going to find links to my website. Go to crabock.com. You're going to find more information there. Also, uh, get your Christmas shopping done. Go to Luxury Play Style. Use, that, use my discount code. Also, you can check my merch store, my Teespring store. We've got all kinds of uh, merch over there, which is a great time to order. And also, we've got a sale running on that too, uh, which I need to post. I'm going to post uh, the sale code on social media. Uh, because there is a sale running now for about a week, so you can save a little bit on your Crabox store merch. So definitely do that. I will talk to you guys later. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to all my patrons as well. You guys are awesome. I could not do this without you. If you're interested in becoming a patron, be sure to check out the links that are going to be down there and click see more below the video and uh, check out uh, some of the links for my Discord, Patreon, website, merch store, all that stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to talk to you later. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.